According to my teacher, Sri Hanuman, Nada Yoga is the path of sound, also called in India Nada Upasana, which is a form of praising the primordial energy of the universe through Nada Brahman, which is the absolute in form of sound. There are many approaches to Nada Yoga. Some of them are internal and others are external, but mainly we're focusing in the sound, whereas, for instance, during pranayama, we are focusing in the prana itself through the breath. When we talk about sound, there are many levels. Om or pranava is the primordial sound of this universe, and as such, it is represented by three letters named A, U, and M which can stand for Brahma, the creation, Vishnu, the preservation, and Shiva as the dissolution. This process is continuous and can be activated through verbal or mental repetition. In Nada Yoga, as well as in many scriptures, in the Tantras and Vedas, there are different levels of sound perception. From the dense level, which we call Vaikari, or spoken level, to an intermediate level named Madhyama, Nada, then to a more elevated level called Pashyanti, and finally to Para Nada, which is the Absolute, which only uh, very advanced yogis or Nada yogis can access. So we're actually working from the sound level and one of the means for this practice is utilizing our voices through ragas and raginis, which are a combination of swaras, musical notes, and their respective shrutis, which could be considered as the microtones in the Western music. Uh, so working through these ragas, we also get the different moods Certain ragas pertain to the morning, afternoon, evening, or also to different seasons. Uh, likewise, we can tune in with our moods through the voice and get a deeper feeling. Slowly, we can bring that attention inwards. And what, I, what another yogi does, he perceives or she perceives the anahata sounds, which are internal. These sounds can be only be perceived through meditation and after a long purification of the nadis and the chakras, which are our energy centers.